Alright, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Makakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone that tell me this truth that we're well. Shalom to the elect that scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kwadash Paya. And the Lord made us humble servants. Right? And that's how we ought to carry ourselves. To be humble. You know, we just had the Passover yesterday. And that represented a solemn assembly. Not a party. Not, you know, a feast of mirth. But a solemn assembly. The reason because of when you read, you know, Exodus the 12th chapter and what the Lord did. How we had to flee. We were scarcely saved out of Egypt when he got us up out of there. You know? Hearing all those crimes, going through those plagues and pestilences. Which is going to occur now, more so much, uh, more, much here now than ever. Right? And, um, you know, you want to, you want to keep your face on the ground towards the Lord. You don't want to walk around in pride and, you know, like these other religious, uh, other groups that they call themselves Israelites, but you see the, the, the narcissistic behavior, you know, and it, that, that's scary. You know, because we know the scriptures say pride go before destruction. You know, you have a season where the Lord will lift you up and bless you with things. But then you have a season where you'll lose things and you got you got to go through trials and tribulations, right? It's, it was to humble you, it was to keep you well balanced mentally. You know what I mean? Look at Paul. You know, Paul understood, you know, in other words... When to be full and when to be hungry. You know what I mean? So anyway, with that being stated, I um want to open up with the book of St. Luke. Chapter 18. Alright, St. Luke chapter 18. Let's go to 10. Alright, let's start at 9. It says, And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. You know, trusted in themselves. Got a lot of people that trusted themselves, thinking it's them doing the works, thinking they woke themselves up, thinking like, you know, they're already saved already. You know, the scriptures speak about a righteous shall scarcely be saved. Many are called, few are chosen. You know what I mean? It, uh, verse 10, two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican, right? You know, like your average, you know, nine to five worker, so to speak says, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. Ex extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Right? So, even as this publican, while the publican is there praying as well. You know what I mean? Now, who knows what kind of, how he looked or... or, or Whatever the case was. But for him to say that showed some form of arrogancy. He said, uh, verse 12. I fast twice in, in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off. Would not lip, lift up his so much as his eyes unto heaven. But smote upon his breast saying... God be merciful to me, a sinner. Right? So that's humble. You know, he kept his face towards the ground. And he wasn't bragging. He wasn't talking about nobody. He just said, Lord, just have mer be merciful on me, please. You know, and that's what I was telling brothers during the, pa you know, pre before the Passover. You know, we need mercy. We all need mercy. We, 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 we're not exempt. 
We're, we're still sick. We still, brothers got trauma, brothers got physical ailments. You know what I mean? Brothers is tired, brothers got families, women taking, like, yo, it's so much we got to deal with in this place with our trials and tribulations, especially knowing what's coming. We need mercy. Pray for mercy for your brothers, man. You know? Ask for forgiveness. You know? And forgive those that trespass you. We all in the flesh. We all fall short of glory to the Lord. We all deserve death, really. So it's merciful for even the Lord to call us, man. Alright? So you, we want to be chosen. That's why we say we're the hopeful elect. You know? We're the hopeful elect. You know? So, yeah, he was bragging about everything he did and... So, you could do all of that, and then it comes the time where the Lord cut you off and all your works came to naught. Look at Saul, you know what I mean? Saw how humble King David was towards him, primarily uh, Yahweh Shai, you know? But let's read on, it says, and the publican standing, of, uh, we read that already. Verse 14, I tell you. This man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Right? So if you high up now in this society or, or in, in, in any way, shape, or form that could boast, you know, your pride or your ego, the Lord's going to bring you low. You know, and those that are low now, suffering, you know, going through what they're going through, just asking for mercy, being brotherly, doing what they got to do, which doing that which is pleasing in the sight of the Lord, the Lord will exalt you, you know, in due season. In due season, the Lord will exalt those that, 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 that's of his flock, that's of the sheep, you know. The Lord knows who's who. Yahweh is the father of all spirits. You can't lie to the Holy Spirit. You can't lie to the Lord. You can lie to yourself. You can lie to other men. You can't lie to the Lord, man. You know? So much things Esau kept lying about. Now he's being uh, 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 exposed. And now he's being brought low to the world. Alright? So let's get on... Um, Real quick. Let's get the book of St. Matthew. Chapter 5 verse 5. It says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Right? The meek, the lowly, you know, the humble. Right? Because a lot of, you know, a lot of people are about to be humbled. Seriously. You know? The Lord's about to snatch the plate out of these people's hands. You know what I mean? Great judgment is coming. You know? And that's a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living power. Because it can make you think you're doing right. And you're really fucking up. Offending this man doing this. Doing, you know? So we gotta, we always must examine ourselves. We at the end. Things are going to get more critical. You know? So that's why you, you you want the Lord to sup with you through the Spirit. Yo, yeah, how was shy I washed the disciples' feet? You know? He the scriptures say I he had no place to lay his head, roughly paraphrasing. He said Yahweh Shah said, Well, fine linen are in king's houses. He wasn't walking around with the finest silk or suave apparel, you know? He was in a lowly state. He knew what he had to go through. He knew what his people was going to go through. And was going through at that time. And he knew their, their thoughts. So imagine what he was, you know, mentally dealing with. You see? Matter of fact, let's get, um, let's get the book of Philippians real quick. The people, and brothers don't really, uh, you know, not brothers that, you know, that's brotherly, but men that, that, that claim to be Israelites, they don't consider these things. And you know that through their actions. 
you know. Philippians chapter 2, around about the fifth verse. It says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahushai, right? One spirit, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, right? <clears throat> that also shows the, 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 the separation between the Son and the Father, showing that He's not God Himself. You know what I mean? Um, it says, But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. So we're, and he's the king of kings. He was the firstborn ever created. And it says, And took upon him the form of a servant. You see? We're servants. We're here to serve. We're here to, you know, Spread the word. Do that which is pleasing in the sight of the Lord. And rehearse these righteous acts to the best of our ability. You know, sincerely. In faith. In truth. And in a health, healthy sense of fear towards the Lord. You know, we all make mistakes, yeah. But, you know, hey. Certain things can boast. And, 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 and you know, certain men. And that's a dangerous, dangerous thing. It says, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, you know, he was in the flesh. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Damn. Let that sink in, man. You know, if you don't humble yourself, man, the Lord will humble you. You want to be able to be obedient, even in the sight of death, man. Because that's what we're coming to. Imprisonment, things of that nature. You know? So those people that are in the house of mirth, partying, and, and you know, like the scripture says, in the days of nowhere, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. They were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in the marriage. They knew not till the flood came. You don't want to get caught with your pants down, so to speak. You want to, you want, you want Yahweh, when Yahweh Shah come back to, to find you doing that which is pleasing in his sight. You know? Even unto death, man. That's, that's that faith, man. That's that humility. You know, the Lord looks at those characteristics. That's what real strength is. You know? Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him and gave given him a name which is above every name. So, if you, you know, lowly, right, there's no other way to go but up, but to be exhausted, exalted, you know. And the higher you are, the, the harder that fall is going to be, straight up. Um, all right, let's get uh, the book of St. Luke, chapter 14. We'll close it out on this. Just hope this is edifying and straight to the point, man. St. Luke, chapter 14, and verse, we start at number 7. It says, and he put forth a parable to those which were bidden when he marked how they chose out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. Right? You got men that want to come in and want to sit in the highest room. Had the highest, you know, the throne, the, the highest seat, being called, you know, rabbis in the, in the, in the marketplaces, you know, wanting to be seen amongst men, right? The Lord's going to bring you low. The Lord could use a man that's lowlier than you and lift him up and put him on your seat. And now, because of your pride, you lost your crown. You know? Come on, man. We're supposed to follow, you know, our forefathers. Primarily Yahweh Shah. He laid the, blue, the blueprint. 
You know, you want to be found uh, uh, not guilty. You want to be found with no blemish, so to speak. You know what I mean? And he that abide thee and him and him come and say to thee, give this man place <laughs> and thou begin with shame. To take the lowest seat, right? You're going to be in shame in the kingdom. Oh, you thought you was better than X, Y, Z? Now in the kingdom, you're going to see that man lifted up. And you're going to remember that you're going to be in shame for a while. You know? Like, damn, I messed up. You know? Regret. You don't want to have that regret. That shit sucks. Trust me. Verse 10. But when thou art bidden... Go and sit down in the lowest room. Right? Sit down in the lowest room. Keep that humble, you know, persona, man. You ain't got nothing to prove. We got to come correct towards the Lord. You know, let the Lord exalt you. Let the Lord give you them titles or whatever the case may be. Let you want to be justified by Him rather than men. And some men, yeah, they may, you know, you know, big you up with certain words and that could be the Lord speaking through them, you know, like, Hey, well done. You know what I mean? Like, but if you get rebuked, you know what I mean? You got to take that and reflect on it. It says, it says, uh, let's uh, verse 10 again. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that abide thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, and when you want to be, you want to be the Lord's friends. You want to be called the Lord's friends. You know, go up higher. Ooh, that reminds me of the scripture <gasps> when the Lord is gonna come back with the chariots, the holy angels, and say, "What? Come up hither." You know, we lowly in this low ass land, the valley of the shadow of death. Valley's the lowest land among the mountains and the hills. So you want to be, you want to hear them words. Come up hither. Well done, my, my you know, my faithful, uh, good and good and faithful servant. Right? Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. Ho oh, oh. ho. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. And scriptures say that greater thou art, the more humble thou shalt be. You know, the, uh, hey, we're not greater than our, our master. Servant's not greater than his master. You know what I mean? How can you be greater than Yahweh? You, you must be fucking retarded to even think like that. You're crazy. A lot of people, a lot of men that call themselves Israelites doing things like that. You know, they either paid off, got the bag, or they just, you know, I don't know, man. You know, just be careful with wolves and sheep clothing like that. You know, that's a stumbling block and, you know, think about your how shot. Alright, so anyway, with that, I hope this is edifying. Straight to the point. Till next time, I'm going to say, call all Abinawa Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Akakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.